Hello YouTube, this is Nico Charger here and today I am making an updated video to my slash two wheel drive and somewhat the Escalade and also the backslash Truggy, all those different things. I'm going to start off with my slash two wheel drive. Um, here it is, it is the most updated thing I would actually think. Um, starting off, let's start off with the visuals. I have a J Concepts 1979 Ford F250 um, body as well as some HPI 1A scale buggy wheels and some um, old AKA racing tires. Um, to hold those on, I have some FLM 17mm adapters. Um, let's take the lid off. Um, now, the battery that I have in there is just for video sake. I don't actually use that size battery. Um, let's start off at the front. First thing I did was I clipped off the top of the slash bumper um, to give it this more flush look, make it look just a little bit more realistic. I, I'm also using um, Duratrax aluminum shocks with Traxxas T-I-N-I uh, shock shafts and Lozy Black Springs. Um, and there's a 50 weight oil in there. I'm not too sure if this is a lazy suspension. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of lazy. But I might end up selling this car, so um, that's for the next owner to worry about. Um, moving down the line, I have a Radio Link transmitter along with a Radio Link receiver inside of that box. Uh, I have a Leopard 60 amp ESC. And normally I run a 2S on here, but I'm just going to show off the car for a second. So I just drew in a 3S, which is fine because that Leopard ESC is perfectly capable of handling a, 3, of handling a 3S LiPo. Um, let's turn it around to this side. Um, let's see. As for a servo, I have a high tech 796HB. Uh, as well as a Kimbroke servo saver. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I also have bearings inside of the stock steering bell cranks. So it turns a little bit smoother. And with that fast servo, it can actually get around pretty quick. Let's see, I hope I said that right. Uh, let's move around to the back. Um, in the back, I have a tack on. In the back, I have a Tacon 3500 um, KV motor, and I also have a spur gear of 86 tooth paired along to a 23 tooth pinion. I think that works pretty well on the car. As far as speeds go, I haven't actually radared it or anything, but I'm pretty sure it goes at least uh, 35 or more. I'm pretty sure the only thing holding it back are these tires because they really are old and worn out and it ends up sliding out before I can really do anything um now I'm gonna go and power it up um here's the transmitter that I'm using on it it is a radio link RC3S um there it is pretty cool transmitter. I bought it on eBay for less than $50. Uh, let's see. And I made the mistake. I made the mistake. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it should work. So, um, how am I going to do this? Okay, jump cut there. Um, let's try this again. I had to reconfigure my transmitter because it was set to another model. So, as I was saying, the steering on this thing is pretty freaking quick. But that servo, along with the bearings, it gets up. Uh, let's see if there's something I can pop underneath there. Let's see. Yeah, that's quick. Let me see if I can get this all in shot. Yeah, that's pretty quick, especially for two-wheel drive. I don't know. Might even need to tone it down just a tad bit. 
Um, not really gonna do the motor because I have a bunch of debris on the table and I don't want it to kick all that stuff up. Um, but let's move on to the next vehicle on list. Put this down. Next vehicle is 